The most important aspect in an instrument, of course, is its functionality, how it works, playability and the sound. But let's say that the beauty of an instrument matters as well. So, because we will talk about this marvelous photography and AD, I first want to say that if you want to listen to the instrument really, put a nice pair of headphones and I will post at the description the first five links will be of those recordings in multi-screen format which I have made lately only with Simplicity Guitars for you to appreciate its quality and how I learned from Paco also how to interact using different instruments for different parts one either for the accompaniment, one for the soloing for chords and other one different uh, tunings even there so to appreciate the sound Watch the description and the first comment pinned I will leave there because sound is the most important thing. But the aesthetics, the style, the class and the beauty that these instruments have, have has to be also highlighted. I never made a video about this thing and this photographer is just out of the box. I have never enjoyed so much seeing a picture of an instrument as I do on this catalog. Here we have to start with a 12-step program. They say you can never have too many guitars, but we have all seen the tragic effects of having too many guitars on people's lives. The broken marriages, the lack of money, the wasted hours spent hanging about in music shops, and the obsessive interest in other people's guitars. So this is a 12-step program, guys, for anyone who is a freak of guitars, as we are. <laughs> and I said that because I never made a video about the beauty and the enjoyment we get watching pictures like this in AG. This phot phot photographer, I mean, is a genius because I never seen guitars in this perspective and in this beautiful way that we can spend hours here watching. This is a Picasso guitar, so it makes uh, well it makes increase <laughs> the sickness of buying <laughs> because that's why there is a, st a 12 step program about this and, and you know people collectors like Mr. Lee for instance who have you see nine guitars here and guys who who will put a tattoo of the brand on, on their on their body a permanent tattoo thing speaks all. I've never seen so much loyalty to a brand unless it is Harley Davidson and here we are again with the same thing so yeah it is a very interesting thing this phenomenon of the of the guitar syndrome thing and I want to quote Farru who was the dancer of Paco de Lucia for so many years 
as you see here, he starts his performance by paying obeisances to the guitar. So, homage for Paco de Lucia who gave him also this guitar and, and he's honoring the guitar he used to play with him in the tours so it's a homage to Paco he was the dancer of Paco for many many years <laughs> The best thing that happens to me in my life was to to know Paco, not that only as an artist, but, but as a as a person. And for my development of my artistic life, Paco de Lucia does not need any introduction. And who did not have the fortune to to meet that genius there, then he missed something. So you see, this is a whole maze, a very emotive thing about Paco to me. Well, the, the thing is that he started right away with his Barbero guitar. He started by paying obeisances to the guitar. This is amazing. <laughs> right there, you see? So that's the thing. And of course, in my channel, you know, I kind of... Uh, nurtured this disease of guitar, love for guitar. As you can see here, in my channel, just in one month, inside one month, I have 1,200,000 something minutes watching time. Inside one month only, there is two years and 159 days of time watching. People is watching. So one time, remember guys, that this was the only view of a guitar you had in a picture. And that, pretty dumb, right? Yeah, to me it's a much boring. So if you want to cure the disease of buying guitars, watch any website. Because in AG there are 3,000, actually more than 3,000 pictures with which you can only love all of them and keep watching because look at the perspective this photographer had. I never seen such a beautiful concept brought to the art of of photography on instruments you can see things which never were there before like inside the guitar the construction with the liberated top the, the fans and from the most extraordinary angles look at this with the woods well 3000 or more than 3000 pictures in this website Check this, the double fretboard here view. I know people who, who is, spends hours watching this. Why? Because when you see this, then you get an idea of what is the instrument really about and how we can get in synchrony with these beautiful things. Here, check it out. The guitar of, 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 of Thomas Eliseo. Uh, uh, an art work. I can't believe you can get the concept of, of such a v magical view with these tops. Look at this thing. It's just not amazing. What is after amazing it is? Because here you really see what does it mean the contemporary concept of, of, a, of, of, a, of a guitar and the angles of the guitar these pictures are just a master thing 
And remember, we came from this. This is what every website has. <laughs> Front and back. Hello, am I missing something here? This is all the ways you can see in perspective the guitar of, of Walter, the collector, Mr. Walter Estella, not the Centennial Barbero for the 18 years of, of, the, of the 1948 Barbero models. So, in, in every way that you perceive this thing, when you really get to the point of, of perceiving the instrument, that's what I wanted to say, because I never made a video, check the beauty of this, I never made a video about these photographers. Uh, this is people who really know what they do, look at this thing. Of course, I, I have the guitar myself, but this here, is, is me. I mean, this is just a dream come true. To be able to perceive this, this kind of perspectives here, with the most interesting instruments you can ever see in the planet. This is a, a, a next Stradivarius, what this Stradivarius was in his time. This people is here, look at this beautiful thing. That's the neck of a, of a Simplicio 1932. Look at this. So, it deserves to, to bring the attention <laughs> to the public also that this is to be appreciated because there are more than 3,000 pictures of this category and well of course you see here if, if, if you type on just click this link Learn Paco de Lucia and you can see that a lot of people is watching this thing so in fact imagine what the wife of this guy who bought this guitar uh, a Simplicio 1927 original sold in an auction live auctioners, I will post at the description the links this one look here yeah, we got it yes you are reading right quarter million dollars was, was sold this Simplicio original from 1927 so collectors, players, people all around people who love, really love the guitars they know what it is. So there is this 12-step program here you can take to that if there is no other alternative because the more one tries not to buy these AG guitars the more difficult it gets not to buy them. So it is a disease and in fact I made a video called Contagious Syndrome GMCS so guitar syndrome right? the flamenco guitar mania like this, this is uh, already a symptom of having this condition. You start writing notes like happy not to be alone tonight, and then put the two guitars on the back. And so people already have really a bigger symptom of having this disease already. Uh, it all started with, with one, it doesn't matter the number of, of people that who is suffering from this condition cannot be counted actually and it doesn't matter if they are poor or not or if they are famous guys or not it's a, it's a situation like Esther Lee for example from Toronto <laughs> guitar collector well here in Malaga one good thing is that we understand you because don't forget don't forget uh, the best, pretty much, we all have the same condition. Players and the, and the best guys that are out there who love their guitar really. Yesterday I was with, with Mr. Tomas and he, well, he loves so much his guitar and he, he made, he made a, a, a shared costume made of the same color exactly to play with it and, and, and get in symphony with the instrument. So this is a, a, a whole cult of, of, of instruments and well, these pictures deserve attention for if you have this contagious symptom symptoms of the of the guitar maniac thing don't watch this website better go and watch some of these and then you are okay because if, if you by any case uh, stumble upon things like this then the condition will worsen <laughs> <laughs> so that's all guys I want to thank all the team of AG and these marvelous people who really give a new vision
to the to what means the Spanish guitar making today.